Wildstar is one of the biggest MMOs of the past few years. Huge, blockbuster, AAA all the way, and it was designed for people who like MMOs, unlike most games nowadays. It didn't minimise, incorporate, blend in, shy away from, or hybridise most of its MMO elements, instead making the game's mechanics rich and fully featured and in many ways what you'd kind of call hardcore. It wanted to be an MMO's MMO, which is why it's really sad that Wildstar has had a pretty poor time in the market, and after only several years is waning dramatically. Summarising what Wildstar is, a good place to start is the combat system. This game does the popular modern thing of using one relatively small action bar instead of the traditional mountains of hotbars and abilities. Like Guild Wars 2, you can find a lot of customization in the handful of abilities you have active at any one time. Wildstar also tries to move away from tab targeting systems by incorporating a lot of aiming and dodging into its combat. There's absolutely no standing still in one position casting off your entire rotation. Even in PvE, you're constantly rolling away from telegraphed enemy attacks. This can all be pretty fun, but can be rather off-putting to people in my part of the world with no local servers. Makes PvP rough. Wildstar is a theme park with ADHD. It's an absolutely constant onslaught of carrots and sticks in the open zones. Just about every layer of gameplay you've ever seen is here. Crafting, dungeons, professions like exploration and settlement which lets you build useful vendors and stations in the world. Every environment is just littered with nodes to interact with and resources to gather and all sorts of dynamic time-based challenges which start immediately and send your gameplay all over the place. It's a full and full-on game. If, like me, you're used to MMOs with a fairly slow pace where you're planning and organising and trying to make good use of your time by doing things in particular orders, Wildstar's craziness can feel fairly stressful. I find it hard to have any plans in this game because the environment is always telling you to do so many different things. I think Wildstar is the epitome of the MMO theme park genre. I don't think there's a more theme parky theme park MMO than this. There is one place where things calm down a bit though, player housing. Wildstar's player housing is definitely one of the best in the business, deep and highly customizable. Interestingly, Wildstar is known for its fairly high difficulty level. At launch at least, I think it's been softened since then, just about all of the PvE in the game was quite challenging. Well, more challenging than other MMOs where you're used to rolling through mobs without thinking about it. The game is overflowing with super stylized styles. It's very science fiction, very fantasy, with heaps of steampunk and all sorts of animals and animal races and wacky characters and whatever else you can think of. The armor and weapons are probably even more exaggerated than in Warcraft. There's a lot of graphical beauty here, but I often find it hard to appreciate because of the crazy cluttered action madness and rather off-putting user interface. But the character design's fantastic, and the game oozes personality and has a fun sense of humour which is often right in your face. Whoa, look at you! Take care! Try not to die out there too much. There's a lot of story too, of course, which is thrown at you in pieces all over the place with quests and pop-ups and little voiceovers and lore unlocks and sometimes cutscenes. Feels like I've said this for most of the games I've talked about in this series, but Wildstar has a really, really, really good soundtrack. Perhaps a reason there's so much good music in MMOs is that the format really allows composers the flexibility and freedom to be quite creative. Or, you might say, to go wild. Star. <laughs> the composer on Wildstar is Jeff Kurdenacker. His music is just as wacky and all over the place as the game itself, but not in a bad way at all. As crazy and unpredictable and weird as it sometimes gets, it's always very well produced, and often there's really classical beauty. Just a month ago, they finally released an official album of the Wildstar soundtrack. Definitely go check that out. Definitely. Hashtag definitely. Unfortunately, business-wise, Wildstar has had a really rough time. It seemed to have a pretty good launch, but it didn't gain traction. This was yet another game that thought they could get away with a subscription-only model, and it really didn't work out. Last year, they did the all-too-familiar shameful transfer to free-to-play, and the game's now on Steam. They're trying to do everything they can to pull people in. But the outlook is very bleak. Earlier this year the game's plans to go to China were cancelled, and half of the studio's staff was let go. 
Today, there's only one server in the US, instanced group content queues are pretty dead, and new content is slow coming. The initially promised monthly patch cadence a distant memory. Is Wildstar just too confusing and overwhelming for many players? Maybe, I've certainly felt that. The game also doesn't quite have the polish of, say, World of Warcraft, and it's pretty obvious but worth mentioning, Wildstar's definitely a fairly direct World of Warcraft competitor. So, Wildstar's flawed, like all MMOs. But it's one of the biggest and most impressive ever created, so I find its severe lack of success a bit heartbreaking. Perhaps it is just that it confused its audience by trying to appeal to true MMO genre fans, but at the same time based the game on action combat and excessive theme park design. As much as I do appreciate the quirky, over-the-top style of the game, I do wonder whether it'd be more relaxing and easier to enjoy if it were a bit more restrained. A little less manic. Anyway, it's a cutthroat world for MMOs out there, and hopefully Wildstar won't disappear too soon.